All right, welcome back, ladies and germs, to another episode of the GeoGuessr. Uh, as you can see, we're all in the gold now, except for uh, the U.S. state streak. But uh, anyone who lives in the U.S. or knows of the U.S., which is most of the world, knows that the states look very, very similar. And uh, it's almost impossible to tell them apart. So instead of spending hours upon hours trying to get, I don't know what gold is, maybe... 20 or something, I'm not going to do that, and I'm just going to play Battle Royale, the game that I'm actually good at, so here we go. You all know what time it is. It's time we systematically destroy all of these people, even Mr. Bean, or MBR. I think he got it wrong. I think he got it backwards. There. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, Seeming Bulgaria-ish. Um, but I'm not thinking that does that it doesn't seem Bulgarian to me. Uh, let's go Hungary. Yes, Hungary was the answer. Obviously, snow means Hungary. Everyone knows that. It's first grade knowledge right there. Snow equals Hungary. It's in the dictionary. It's in the Bible. Learn it, live it, love it. Don't forget it. You're welcome. Moving on. All right, moving on. We have what could only be described as somewhere in Europe. Probably. Maybe. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, somewhere in Europe is my initial gut. Then again, uh, Chile would not be unheard of for something that looks such as this does. Uh, but it's looking like Europe. In fact, that looks like an Italian plate. And it was an Italian plate. Uh, the Italian plate has two blue strips on either side. Easy money. Uh, again, pretty common knowledge. So if you didn't, uh, if you didn't pick pick that up, you're kind of a moron. But uh, moving on from that, this looks like Greece, Albania, Macedonia, somewhere in the Balkans. Uh, this yellow doesn't tell me anything. I thought it might. Um, people already seem to know. Bilingual school. Is this Mexico? Yes, it is. Uh, remember how I said it was in the Balkans? I meant Mexico, obviously. Um, I was just testing your knowledge. This looks like, looks like Mongolia. Uh, just right off the bat. Kind of getting that Mongolian vibe. So we're going to drop it down in Mongolia. I didn't even look at the car. And yes, it is Mongolia. See, once you get to the point where you can recognize the country without without the car, then you know you've made it. Like most people think it's when you like write your first novel or like sign your first album, maybe make a movie or some shit. No, it's when you can recognize the country without looking at the Google car. That's when you know you've made it. All right, continuing on. This is Africa, looking like Kenya, maybe Eswatini. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Eswatini. Uh, I'm pretty confident in that. This looks like uh, Mbabane, I believe. Look at that. I mean, come on. Come on. It's too easy. Give me something harder. Give me, give me harder competition. This Mihao guy doesn't, he's not, he's not quick enough. He's not on the ball enough. He can't, he can't stop me, dude. Okay, my favorite, uh, black screen. Gotta love it. Gonna take off 0 0.5 seconds from my guessing time. Uh, it's looking like Ukraine. Um, we're gonna go Ukraine. I don't think it's Russia. Okay. 
I was pretty confident in Ukraine uh, just based off of uh, the side of the road for this one. Uh, and that's not all that off. The side of the road in Ukraine looks a lot, lot different than Russia. Russia's a lot more not uniform uh, in a way. Uh, if I can find Senegal, thank you. And everyone knows this by now. Everyone should anyway. That Senegal messes with the space-time continuum. And they have rifts in their sky because of all their dealings with space-time travel and shit. Uh, thankfully, they haven't brought back any dinosaurs yet, but that's only that's an that's an inevitability. I mean, it's going to happen eventually. It's just a matter of when. Oh, Zulu. I'm leaning towards. I don't know. Latvia. I should have said it. I should have said it because it's what I was going to say. And now you guys aren't going to believe me. And you're going to think I was just just bullshitting. Uh, this looks like Poland. Try off the bat. This is so Polish. I'm just guessing Poland. Yep, it was Poland. He knew it too. Good for him. Hars. Okay, what do we have here? We have what could only be Colombia, because we had the Colombian cross on the back of the sign. This car should have a yellow plate, and it does, and we win. Just like that, boom, bada, bing, the Colombian cross, you can see it over there, comes in clutch. For whatever reason, Colombia decided that they wanted to have a holy symbol on the back of their signs uh, to inform geoguessing players what country they were in. So, good on Colombia. Next round. All right, hopping in. It's looking very North American. Midwestern, maybe. M possibly Canada. Uh, but that looks like a U.S. flag, so we're just going to go with good old U.S. of A. Yeah. It better not be Canada. If it was Canada, then someone at that fire station is pulling a pulling a prank. One of those YouTuber. Whoa! What was that? It's a new model. Uh, it's the Tesla Model 18. You got two two drivers. What a beautiful, what a beautiful car. Ah, uh, only 2.3 million dollars. Um, getting Romanian vibes. That looks like a Romanian pole to me. Not to be confused with the North Pole. Ah, oh, it's too easy. Too easy sometimes. Romania has to make their poles more, rather, less distinguishable. Because I just, I'm a, I'm a menace when it comes to Romania. I, I do recall a time when I was like, Romania was the worst country for me. I had no idea what it looked like and what it, it, the language was like. And now it's like, boom, Romania. So, uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, I'll give you a tip for once. I mean, maybe you, maybe you guys don't know it. Uh, Romania polls look like this pretty much. And most often the bottoms are painted white, uh, that's kind of how you can tell them, you can distinguish them from Hungarian Poles. Uh, Romania is usually painted white at the bottom. Uh, looking U.S. or Canada again. I'd wager Canada. But it's kind of hard to say. We're going to go with Canada. And it was the U.S., I don't know, that just that house to my right just seemed Canadian. So sue me. Uh mm. Mm. Um Thai Taiwan No, it's not either of those. Yes. No, it's not. Maybe it is. It is. 
it's Thailand. Yes, I knew that the entire time. Uh, <clears throat> moving on. All right, uh, we've got Rolone, Rolonen Patrick, I think that says. Rolane Patrick. Um, looking Belgian to me. I'm gonna go with Belgium. Yeah, I believe it is. I see. I see the pink hue. Yep, Belgium. It is. That is. Oh, you, the crane. I was gonna say it's a very Belgian crane. It actually is a Belgian crane. I mean, you'd think it'd be a Belgian crane if it were if it were if it were in Belgium, but uh, you never know. Cranes can be deceiving. That's something I've learned. Um, it's not Guatemala. I gotta say, those are Mexican colors, so we're gonna go Mexico. Not Mexico. I saw the green and the red. Bolivia, perhaps? Not Bolivia. All right. Um, again, these are all decoy guesses. I'm just biding my time until I guess the right answer. As you all know, by now, I, I know what it is. I just need to just bide my time while other people guess. Like the fools they are. Shit. Fuck. What is it? Um, um, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, it was Ecuador the whole time. Uh, not many other things that that would be. Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, Puente Calzadas. We're not in Colombia. We're not in Guatemala. Uh, that looked incredibly Mexican. That Coatzol, whatever it said, that looked like Aztec. Yeah. So if I were to wager, I would say we are uh, in the Yucatan Peninsula or quite near to it. Um, then again, what do I know? I'm just a stupid GeoGuessr player. Anyhow, um, these people are being very slow. Oh, there we go. Uh, orangutan man got it. So I'll catch you guys once uh, some other idiot guesses it. Okay. Standing Freddy 4 was the, uh, was the man who figured it out. The man who solved the mystery of... Not Columbia. I saw a yellow plate there for a second. Tough one. We got a white car. Wait. Oh, no, it's a taxi. All right, we're going to go Chile. All right, yep. Um, the green signs are common in Chile and Mexico, as well as Brazil, but uh, that was not Brazil, obviously. It was very easy to tell that that wasn't Brazil. Uh, okay, and this is... Uh, good old-fashioned Slovakia. I think uh, we might win this one. And there it is. Standing Freddy, as I predicted from earlier, is not the smartest, sharp, sharp and sharpest knife in the spoon drawer. Um, so, yeah, we secured our second victory. And um, it's looking like a good day. Seemed like it seemed like a good time. So, uh, moving on to the next round. All right. All right, we might have our first actual competition from Benjo. All right, this looks like uh, Sri Lanka. No, it doesn't. Maybe it does. I don't know. Um, yeah, I saw a yellow plate on the left side of the road, so Sri Lanka it was. Easy money. Big money, no whammies. This is interesting. I wonder what they're building here. I mean, obviously, it looks like some sort of 
water passage between sides, but uh, it doesn't seem to be going all that well. Hopefully no one, like, fell in that hole and got stuck under those sticks. That would be unfortunate. Anyhow, I don't know what I'm, ba I don't know what I'm babbling on about. Moving on. All right, only half of the lobby was able to identify Sri Lanka, which is kind of strange. That doesn't usually happen. It's usually one of those that goes like, bam, insta-guess. People just know it off the top of their heads. Uh, kind of like I know this post is uh, Latvian. And if you didn't know that, I would highly recommend you check out my 10 GeoGuessr tips in under 60 seconds, because that is one of the things I mentioned. But now that I've told you that, now you don't need to watch it. So now I've just done a disservice to myself. You're welcome. Moving on. Okay, we have what could only be Africa. And it is, uh, in fact, Ghana. I've talked about this a few times, but um, this leaf that stuck to the camera is only found in uh, in Ghana. So, there you go. These are obviously Swiss cows. Uh, it would take an absolute moron not to recognize that. I mean, those cows are just screaming Switzerland. Those those are Swiss cheese making cows. And I I really don't know what to say if you don't understand that. Ah, uh, what do we have here, ladies and gents? Looking like that. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in that. No, I'm not. I just saw it. I, I'm sorry. I'm a blind idiot. I am an ignorant American. I just saw the Israeli... I mean, easy money, pare. You've got uh, the green sign. As I mentioned before, sometimes it's Brazil. Well, because Brazil uses green signs, but it's if it's not Mexico, which it obviously wasn't, because uh, Mexico says Alto, Alto, all. I'm. I think it says Alto. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. But I mean, that was just a decisive three-win victory royale in a row. We saw a cool new tesla model that was just a that was just a good video i hope you all enjoyed i hope you learned something i hope you have become less of an idiot by watching this video and i will see you all uh in the next one bye